Hey everyone, it's Scott here from the fragrance channel, Scott Aromatical. Welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Man, it's been a really long time. I missed you guys. I missed you so much. I've been a little under the weather. I haven't made a video in five days and it feels so good to be back. It feels so good to be talking to you about my favorite topic and probably your favorite topic or you wouldn't be watching this video, fragrances. So let's just go ahead and get right into it. It's that time of the year, folks. It's brand new fragrance release time. That's right. All the brand new 2022 fragrances are being released one after another. And I'm jumping on board with all the other reviewers. And hopefully you'll find something different from my take to keep you watching. But today we're going to be talking about none other than the brand new release from John Barbatos. That's right. XX or 20, the artisan line called Teal. And man, I love John Barbatos. I love his fragrances, but I love John Varvatos as a designer. John Varvatos bought one of my all-time favorite clubs. I had a chance to go there when I was in New York one time, which is called CBGB's. All the great punk bands, all the great rock and roll bands have come through there. Bought that store to be his flagship store, and I really think it's really an awesome, awesome place to visit. And I love his aesthetic, and I love his style, but I digress. But I really love John Varvatos' fragrances, and in particular, his artisan line. This one right here, you know the one, John Barbados Arzen. And I have so many of them. That was Aqua. I've got this guy right here. And you get the idea. When you see this presentation, you're really thinking summer in a bottle, vacation in a bottle. I love this one as well. But you get the idea. So the presentation for John Barbados Teal is no different. I'm going to put that on the screen real quick so you can see what it looks like. And just right away, when you see the bottle on the screen... It really invokes something tropical. It really invokes, you know, something fresh, something summery, and uh, vacation in a bottle, as I've already stated. But I really love the presentation. Of course, the box is just, you know, a teal box. And then the bottle itself is teal as well, but you'll find the juice to be clear in case you didn't know that. It's a clear juice. So this fragrance really, really beckons. It's really inviting. It already invokes and stirs something inside of me that kind of lets me know this is going to be a gorgeous, beautiful, summer, fresh fragrance. And by the way, if you guys are all looking for the latest and greatest new releases of fragrances, look no further than my buddy Chef Mo over at Chef Cants. He's got all the latest and greatest brand new 2022 releases, all the fragrances from last year. And if you're also looking for those timeless classics, he's got those as well. And men, if your women are looking for fragrances, or ladies, if you're watching my channel, He's also got all your decanting needs when it comes to fragrances. And the cool thing about Moses living in New York City is he has access to any fragrance. So if you're looking for one in particular, all you've got to do is request it. And I'm sure he can find it for you pretty quickly and get you a decant of your favorite fragrance. So go to Chef Mo. He's got great prices. This is the best way to try a fragrance without breaking the bank. When you buy a 3 ml or a 5 ml or a 10, 10 ml, you're not going to break the bank on your favorite designer fragrance. And it gives you a chance to kick it around and make sure this is a fragrance that you want. All right. With that out of the way, here it is, my decant of teal. Let's go ahead and put the bottle back on the screen one more time, and I'll give you the note breakdown. In Artisan Teal on the top, of course, you've got a nice citrus, which you're going to find in any kind of freshy fragrance for the summertime. You've got lemon. And then you've got rosemary giving it a fresh, herbaceous feeling. And then the heart, which is another note you're going to find in a lot of summer freshies, is pink pepper to balance it out and give it the spices. And then you've got that fantasy note of water lily. And then in the base, you've got a sea salt accord, driftwood, and musk. All those are ingredients you've come to know with a summer fresh fragrance. All right, let's go ahead and spray this fragrance. In full disclosure, I have already worn this fragrance, so I already kind of know what it smells like, but I'm going to give you my impressions again and the vibe that I get from this fragrance. All right, we're going to spray it directly on skin. Okay, so this one's kind of complicated. This is a little bit of a yin and yang. This is a little bit of hate and love, and I'll explain why. First, right out of the gate, if you're brand new to the channel, first of all, welcome. Thank you for stopping by to check out this fragrance teal. You're going to love this fragrance. If you're not a part of the fragrance community, you're not what we call a frag head, you haven't been around fragrances for a long time, you're going to love this fragrance. 
Heck, I like this fragrance. It smells really good. It smells really fresh. It's very mass appealing. This is definitely going to be, it's definitely going to be a compliment getter. Okay. So for that reason alone, it's a nice fragrance. It's a nice scent. Here's the problem. All you in the fragrance community, all you who have been around fragrances for a very long time, you're not going to like it because this smells like a lot of other summer freshies that have come out before it. Okay. It's got that citrus on the top. It's got that herbaceousness. Of course, it's got that sea salt accord. You're going to get all that. But where you're going to think that this fragrance smells very familiar, it definitely smells like that tried and true tested thing that everybody was doing a few years back, which is that blue fragrance in the vein of a Blue de Chanel or a Sauvage by Dior. But what this fragrance really reminds me of, and I'm sure I'm not the only one that has noticed it, this is going to be right up there with YSLY. And if you guys have smelled that fragrance, this is pretty much the same thing, okay? It's definitely got that blue vein to it. Now, that's not to say that this fragrance doesn't smell good, but why would you want it if you already have all those other fragrances? It's kind of redundant. Now, for me personally, I love this line. I love the design of the bottles. I love the wicker on these bottles, and teal is no different. If you look at it, it's very invoking. It's inviting. I love the bottle. Is that reason enough to buy this fragrance? I don't know. If you're just walking by the Macy's counter and you don't know about all these other fragrances, you've never smelled any of the other Artisan series, because let's face it, some of these are discontinued, and you see that bottle on the counter, you know, and you smell the test strip, it's probably going to reach out and grab you. You're probably going to think this smells really good and really fresh, and you'd be right. But it smells like so many other fragrances. Now, with that being said, I'm going to have this in my collection. Am I going to go out and buy it right away? No, I'm going to wait for this to hit discounters because it does smell like so many other fragrances. But, guys, one of the things about me too as well is I love scent. I'm all about scent. I'm all about a way a fragrance smells. And this smells good, but it lacks uniqueness. We've done this before. We've been there and we've done that, okay? So, I'm just saying, that's how I feel about this fragrance. That's my opinion, okay? Listen, never trust me. Never take what I say as gospel when it comes to reviewing fragrances or any other fragrance reviewer. I don't care how many subscribers they have. Guys, test them out for yourself by either going to the store or getting you a decant from Chef Cants. That's the perfect way to kick the tires and check under the hood to see how this fragrance performs and lasts and projects and does on your skin. Because if I had a nickel for every time I said a fragrance goes beast mode and someone writes me in the comments and says it lasts five seconds, or if I've had a nickel for every time a fragrance lasts five seconds and someone tells me it goes beast mode, I'd be rich. So make sure you test them out. Don't trust me, okay? And if you already have this fragrance and you're absolutely in love with it and fell head over heels, great. I love that you love a fragrance, and I'm all for it. I like this fragrance too. I'm just not in love with it because it's not unique. Now, my second complaint with this fragrance is, and again, it's not so much of a complaint for me, but I know my audience and I know what you guys like. And guys, this fragrance just does not have a lot of staying power. It doesn't have good longevity. You're probably going to get two to four at best, okay? So it's not going to last a long time. Now, full disclosure, I haven't really worn this in the really hot heat yet, so I don't know how it'll do there. So maybe wearing it in the hot heat, it'll change, and, and something miraculous will happen with this fragrance. But as of right now, guys, I'm getting about two to four hours on my skin, and it really doesn't project any further than an arm's length. You know, if somebody gets in close with you in an intimate setting, you know, they're definitely going to smell it and think you smell good. I think for that reason, because it's not really in your face or obnoxious, I think you can wear it at the office. It's really, really a great fragrance for, the, for a casual setting, whether you're going to the beach, which this fragrance invokes based on how the bottle looks. And really, this whole line is pretty much invokes summer. So you're going to get away with wearing it at any summer event, whether it be a wedding a casual wedding, whether you're at a barbecue, whatever the case may be, running errands, you know, you, when, usually when you're running errands, you're not out all day. So this fragrance is definitely going to get the job done. You're just going to need to reapply because it doesn't last that long. You're going to get compliments because it smells good. It smells fresh. This is the kind of fragrance that the masses are going to like, but it just doesn't have a lot of staying power. And I find that to be the case about a lot of John Barbados fragrances, especially in the artisan line, okay? I'm not going to speak for all of them, 
Um, there are some fragrances that John has that do really, really well on my skin, but that's a topic for another day. So guys, all in all, I like the scent. I've smelled it already. I think I'm more in love with the bottle than I am the scent. The scent is good. It just smells like everything else. So those are my opinions, guys. Now that you've stayed this long for the video, I want you to know there's a giveaway, okay? We've got a giveaway going. If you want to test this fragrance out, just like I suggested, and see for yourself, see if Scott Aromatico is crazy and doesn't know what he's talking about, then I'm glad you stayed this long because we're going to be giving away a 5 ml of this fragrance along with four other 5 mls. So you're going to get a total of five fragrances. My good friend Moses is going to put in there four other summer freshies. He's going to surprise you guys and put them in with this decant of teal. So you guys are going to get to test out teal and four other surprise fragrances that are perfect for the summer. And Chef will put that together with you. So guys, all you've got to do to enter is just put in, I'm in. That's it. Nothing else. Just write, I'm in. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Don't go ahead and subscribe just for the contest and then unsubscribe. Be loyal, guys. I want you a part of my fragrance family. And to join, it doesn't cost you anything. All you got to do is hit that subscribe button down below and hit the bell notifications. And it's free. And you're going to come with me on my fragrance journey. And I'm going to come with you. And we're going to learn together. And we're going to grow. But guys, that's all you got to do is just say I'm in. And you'll have a chance to win a decant of teal and get four other 5 ml fragrances as well. So that's a total of five 5 ml fragrances. Guys, that's a great deal. It's a great giveaway. So make sure you're subscribed. And to enter, just say I'm in. And this is USA only, okay? And we're going to let this contest run. Let's see, today is Monday. We're going to go all the way to Friday, and we're going to announce the winner at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, USA only. All right, guys, an awesome deal. Thank you, Chef Mo, for that. Really appreciate your services. And guys, don't forget about my promo code. Look in the description down below. If you plan on ordering some decants from Chef Cans, look at my promo code, and that'll help you save a little bit of money as well. Have you guys tried any from this artisan line? What are some of your favorites? I'd love to hear from you down in the comments. What do you think of John Varvatos as a fragrance company as a whole? I thought they were going under. I heard the rumors that they were going under, but they seem like they just keep releasing fragrances. So that's a win for us, for us fragrance reviewers and us fragrance heads. So thank you guys so much. Let me know what some of your favorite John Varvatos fragrances are in the comments. If you guys have tried this fragrance before, tell me your thoughts and opinions about it as well. I love each and every one of you guys. Thank you so much for sticking around. And I hope wherever you are, you are finding happiness and true peace. And I'll see you guys on my next fragrance review. Peace, love, and ciao.